Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nos Rachel and today I'm going to be talking about a hot topic for nurses, nursing students and any students in any healthcare program. We are talking about lab values. Yes, lab values is one of the key concepts that you must see, you definitely would always see in some standard tests like ATI, HACI, NCLEX. Even your class quizzes and exams, you always see questions that have to do with lab values. Well, admittedly, there are tons of lab values in your test book and you might not know them all, but there are some lab values that you must know as a nursing student, even as a nurse. And I'm going to do part one of this video um, or later I'll do the part two. Okay. So the ranges I'm going to talk about here, uh, might vary maybe from what you have in your taste book or other websites, but the ranges are always closely related to each other. So with that being said, you just need to know the normal range or the normal therapeutic range for these lab values so that you can be able to dictate when a lab value is too high or too low. Okay. So I'm going to talk about electrolytes, CBC, which is complete blood count and your renal function test in this video. So for the electrolytes, potassium, yes, potassium, you always hear about potassium throughout your nursing program. Potassium is uh, one of the key components electrolytes and the normal range is 3.5 to 5 milli equilibriums per liter. You just need to remember two uh, numbers, 3 and 5. And remember that behind the 3, there is a 5, which gives you 3.5 to 5 milli equilibriums per liter. Okay, sodium. Sodium is ranges between 135 to 145 milli equilibriums per liter, okay? Then for your calcium, calcium ranges from 9 to 11 milligrams per deciliter. For calcium, I always remember it by saying call 911, okay? So calcium is C-A-L, call, and then you have 9 to 11, but I say call 911, that's how I remember calcium, okay? Then magnesium. Magnesium ranges from 1.5 to 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. So for magnesium, I remember magnifying glasses. So magnifying glasses are 2.5, maybe 1.5. So remember magnifying glasses, you can remember magnesium for 1.5 and 2.5. Okay. Then for your phosphorus, Phosphorus ranges from 2.5 to 4.5. You see, they always appreciate by 5. 2.5 to 4.5. For your chloride, the normal range is between 95 to 105 milli equilibriums per liter. So I hope you understand it for the electrolytes. Then for the complete blood counts, which is the CBC, when you talk about CBC, you remember your red blood cells, which is the RBC. Red blood cells ranges between 4.5 million to 5.5 million. So red blood cell is 4.5 to 5.5 million. Your white blood cell, however, is between 5,000 to 11,000. Remember when they range for white blood cell is very high, it indicates the presence of infection. Now let's talk about hemoglobin and hematocrit. For these two values, the, the normal range for male and female is always different, okay? So for hemoglobin, normal range for female is between 12 to 16 grams per deciliter. So you just need to remember that for female, you add 4 to 12, which will give you 16. So it ranges from 12 to 16 grams per deciliter. For male, their hemoglobin range is between 14 to 18 grams per deciliter. It just appreciates by 4. Now, coming to your hematocrit, your hematocrit for female 
is 37 to 47. This appreciates by 10. So for female, I repeat, it's 37 to 47 percent. For male, you have it at 42 to 52 percent. I hope you remember that. Now, the next one is the platelets. Platelets, when you remember platelets, you remember the ability for the blood to close. It's for, for anyone that is bleeding and they have a normal range of platelets, their blood can close. So for platelets, the normal range is between 150,000 to 400,000. And when these levels goes down below 150,000 and goes below, the patient is likely to have thrombocytopenia and they're not going to be able to have their bleeding stop if ever they start bleeding. Okay, I hope you remember that. Then for your renal function test, what always comes to mind is your BUN, which is blood urea nitrogen. Your BUN could range anything between 7 to so BUN ranges from 7 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Then your creatinine, your serum creatinine, ranges from 0 0.6 to 1.2 nanogram per deciliter. So you just need to remember these ranges. You just need to remember them by heart. Know them, probably print it out somewhere where you can always glance through these lab values. And believe me, you always see questions that have to do with lab values in most of your exams and most of your standard tests. So it's very important to know this. So please um, watch my video if you like it. Send it to anybody that you think might need this video, might need to know about lab values. And please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Coming up next is lab values part two. And in my part two, I'm going to be talking about lipid panels, um, coagulation tests, some therapeutic levels for some drugs that are very important to know. Okay. And I'm also going to be talking about